I'm going to tell you how you can scam the left and the right regarding the war in Gaza. Right now, Joe Biden's talking about pausing, sending weapons to Israel to bomb Rafah. If you want to scam right wingers on this, what you do is you make a claim that Joe Biden is allowing the far left to control him. He is being controlled by the far left, crazy socialist, blah, blah, blah. Right. That is a perfect way to scam right wingers. They'll probably fall for it. Hook, line and sinker. Like, oh, yeah, socialist Joe Biden, he's being controlled by the far left and AOC. But here's the reality. I think there is something like 22 percent support among Democratic voters for what Israel is doing in Gaza. So if Joe Biden goes against Israel, it's it wouldn't be because of the fringes, the far left. That's a tiny group. An overwhelming majority of his base, which is not far left, right? Far left is a very tiny group. So tiny that Joe Biden is, has been able to completely ignore them on a lot of different things, right? Overwhelmingly, his base doesn't want him to do what he's doing, right? So what we'll talk about is the far left. Now, if you want to scam the left and or liberals, well, you let them think that Joe Biden has finally seen the light. He's going to stop. He's fighting against Israel. But the reality is, more than likely, he'll be sending them more bombs in the future. Israel can come up with some kind of a uh, explanation of, okay, uh, what we're going to do is we're not going to use 2,000 pound bombs the, the same way. What we're going to do is we're going to use a, a target designation thing and, and then we're going to call them and we're going to uh, drop more pamphlets. And also, uh, we're going to be doing four, a four phase approach to, to minimize the civilian casualties, right? And they can say whatever, right? And then they continue bombing. And nothing really changes in terms of the ratio of like civilians being killed, but they created this narrative, right, of like, oh, we're gonna do our best. And Joe Biden's like, okay, <laughs> and he's like, more bombs, more bombs, right. And then when you guys try to call him out later, listen, I, I acknowledge and, and 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 listen, we gave a red line, and remember, we stopped the bomb, we stopped the shipments, right. This 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 false narrative that that we have no red line and we let Israel do whatever. No 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 no. They, I, we told them not to do this thing, and they did it, and then we, uh, we said, no more bombs. <laughs> and pretend as if you're not currently sending bombs again. And the reason that you resumed sending bombs was based on them saying nonsense, which they didn't really mean anything, didn't, didn't amount to anything, right? So it's all just like theater, right? But it allows you in the end to be like, no, 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 no. There's narrative that we didn't, that we would just do anything. No, no, that's not true. We warned them many times, and they didn't listen, and we blocked them. <laughs> Gotta love it. This is the Baby Channel. Debate me in the comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well. I'll leave you with a little, another bonus how to scam people. So, if you know how bad it is what Israel is doing, you know it's wrong, it's disgusting, all the civilians being killed, right? But for whatever reason, you want to be like, no, 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 Israel has a right to defend itself and make yourself sound like an establishment puppet, Right? Using the exact words that come from the top, the elites, right? For whatever reason, you want to you push that out there. So what you do is just avoid talking about what's actually happening in Gaza, right? And focus on, oh, these guys protesting, they're supporting terrorists, <laughs> right? Focus on that. Talk about that. And also get really angry when people use words like genocide and ethnic cleansing, right? Spend a lot of time talking about, oh, how is this? How is this? Uh, 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 it's, it's a genocide. <laughs> and these, these college students, <laughs> right? Because any time you spend talking about that stuff allows you to not talk about the thing that matters the most in terms of what's actually happening on the ground in Gaza, right? Don't talk about that as much. Talk about the words people are using and what some college kids are doing on campuses. Nicely played. Nicely played, guys. Talk about the fox, Rick. Rolling down the street doing 83. Crash into a tree near a university. Escaped alive though the car was battered. A rat a tat tat and all the cops scattered. But they've killed more than 30,000 civilians. Dave the dope fiend shooting dope who don't know the meaning of water nor soap. We're waving white flags. Yeah, you have to slaughter them. The fox, Rick. Rolling down the street doing 83. Crash into a tree near a university. Escaped alive though the car was battered. A rat-a-tat-tat -tat, and all the cops scattered.